Okay, we're doing a signal circuit integrity test now. The symptoms with this car would be throttle position sensor trouble code. I got a voltage that's fixed at zero volts. As you can see, I'm already in the signal wire and I'm reading 0.05 on the meter. If I move the throttle, you notice no change. As I move the throttle, no change. Now it could be that I'm on the wrong wire, but I've already identified this as the signal wire using a wiring diagram. Fixed voltage on the TPS. Unplug the TPS, and what we want to see on some cars, that voltage will go to five. On other cars, it's normal for it not to. There's some theory involved there. We've talked about that in class. On this car, my signal wire staying at 0 .05, basically zero volts. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump the signal wire to the five volt reference wire and force that voltage high. When I do that, I'm gonna watch my scanner. I'm gonna watch this graph right here. So I have two T pins on a jumper wire. This is really important that you know which one your 5 volt reference wire is. Do not jump the 5 volt reference wire to ground. My 5 volt ref is this bottom pin. So I'm going to T-pin this. I now have 5 volts on my jumper wire and I'm going to put that to my signal wire. And what I want to see on the scanner when you do that test is 5 volts. How is my signal circuit integrity going to this TPS? If that signal wire was shorted to ground, would it have went to five volts on this screen? No, no it would not have. So, car came in, zero volt reading on the TPS all the time, TPS trouble code. If you think about it, there really isn't a need to worry about a ground problem here with low voltage. We checked it anyway, ground was good. Check the 5 volt reference, 5 volt reference was good. We were left with one thing and that was signal circuit integrity and I just showed you how to do that very quickly. No need to disconnect a computer, no need to ohm the signal wire. I'm jumping the 5 volt reference to the signal, driving the voltage high and you can see on this screen that is 5 volts right there with that jump. Take my jumper off, we drop back to zero, put my jumper on, we go to five, signal circuit integrity is fine. Yes, this car needs a sensor. That would be the diagnosis here. 100% confidence, we need a sensor. On other models, I hope the demo, you don't need to do this step, just simply unplugging it would force the voltage to go to five. We'll do that one later. All right, this is just a continuation of our integrity test on a potentiometer signal circuit. This is a different vehicle, I wanted to show that the signal circuit design is different. The Ford Windstar that we just did, it was actually normal with the sensor unplugged to see zero volts on the signal wire. On this Jeep, it's a 99 Jeep Grand Cherokee. On this Jeep, with the se uh, sensor unplugged, it's a little bit different. Looking at the scan tool, looking at my voltage here, I'm at 0.59. When I unplug the sensor, if this was like the Ford, it, it would drop to zero. But on this one, we're jumping up to almost five volts with the sensor unplugged. So the signal circuit design is different. Uh, we have this information in my book. You guys can check it out or check us out, rosedeltech.org. We go through all kinds of stuff like this. We go through detailed training on this kind of stuff so you can understand what you're looking at. But this is quick and accurate. That's the idea with this. Sensor unplugged, we're at five. Let's say this car came in and it had zero volt signal on the TPS like that Ford had. What'd we do? We unplugged the sensor, we jumped the five volt reference to the signal to make the computer read that high voltage that told us our signal circuit integrity was good. On this Jeep, all you would have to do is reach down and unplug the sensor. You see you got five volts. If you had zero before, now you got five. How's your signal wire? Yeah. It's good. This is a circuit design. It's supposed to be this way. A little bit different than the Ford. Signal circuit integrity testing continued. I have the TPS unplugged on this Jeep. I want to show you what the wires look like 
with the sensor unplugged, the voltage readings on, on each pin. Top one I got 5.17. You guys see that okay? Middle one, 4.66. And the bottom one, zero volts. The middle wire is my signal. This is a system that has five volts on it all the way out to the sensor with the sensor unplugged. Scan data shows you the same thing. I have the scanner connected. And we're looking at this top right area. You see with the sensor unplugged that it's totally normal to have high voltage on that circuit. If I would reach down, plug this sensor back in, see the voltage is going to drop. See the voltage drop down, open and close the throttle, and you'll see the voltage change. All right, that's your TPS signal wire. So unplugged, you should have high voltage on this design. If one of these would come in with an open in the TPS, if the TPS was bad, your voltage will be high on this design. On the Ford that we did, the voltage would be low with an open in that TPS or a short. In this case though, if you get one of these that comes in, the voltage is high, it's as simple as taking the sensor, We'll simulate an open in the sensor, which is this right here. That's the way it would come in. You could also have an open in the harness somewhere. It might not be the sensor. So let's say the car came in like this, voltage high on this signal wire. What would you do? You take a jumper, identify your signal wire, which I've already done, which is my middle wire on this connector. Take a jumper wire. And you, and you take that signal circuit, you jump it to ground. That's what I'm doing at the sensor. I'm just using my meter to do that. So if you do this test at the sensor, how's the integrity of your wire? Car came in at five volts, you unplug the sensor, you're still at five, or high voltage in this case. You jump the signal wire to ground, voltage drops low, how's your signal wire? It's good. What if the vehicle came in like this at zero volts, Sensor's plugged in, what do you do? Unplug the sensor. Unplug the sensor on this design, what should happen? That right there should go to five, close to five. Signal circuit integrity, where they're using a five volt line on the signal circuit with that internal resistor that we talked about.